for Jake O'Connor. Wedding reception in old skirt. We're on. I thought this was last week you were doing that. Uh, baby, I love your ways. I bet you haven't got it. Of course we've got it. We've got them all here for you. Uh, Mrs. M would love to hear the bar case and the soul finger. We love the sounds. <laughs> You're loving the sounds. Good. i tell you what I love about... Rooms Davidson will fight for what's rightly yours on a no-win, no-fee basis. So get in touch today. Call 236-5000. Gardens. Robert Silverwood is one of the founder members of Lytham Enterprise Group. <laughs> Today, uh, Robert, just tell us a little bit about the Enterprise Group. When was it? from Neston, uh, just something to you on Friday, Sing Live Choir, we've got a concert at the Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral on Friday, performing popular carols together with music from the famous Candlelight Prince Professional Concerts that take place at Walt Disney World in Florida, 7.30, Metropolitan Cathedral, Friday, tickets available on the door. On Saturday, there's Carols in Court, this is Lomac Productions leading sing-along carols in the Crown Court of the that Lytham has a bit of an R factor. You know, you talk about coming to Lytham and you go, oh, I, I love Lytham. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money In the vulnerable group you must get your flu vaccine. It does protect people, it does save lives, and it's terribly important that those people that are vulnerable, all the people, pregnant women, etc., go to their GP. If you're unclear about it, then give your family doctor a ring and find out whether you're in one of the groups. There you go, advice uh, from the uh, public health minister, also a qualified. You should know what she's talking about. Uh, <laughs> and Milton and very much. Well, after Prime Minister's questions, the Commons began debating the loan. Britain will get...
20 years, I've been bitten 20 times. It's once a year. Earlier this year, a colleague... A dog ran out onto the street and bit him. He informed the police. They sent out an officer. Uh, he was bitten. The dog owner didn't apologize to either the policeman or the postman. And he said nothing could be done because they were... Through Liverpool Road, Southport, or visit chapelhouse.co.uk.